All right, hello all you beautiful people out there. Today we are replacing our Tip M on a 2011 Jeep Cherokee. So we're gonna be installing this new one uh, and hopefully that all works. Now the first step here is going to be removing or at least unplugging the battery, which might be the hardest part of this entire process. The battery is gonna be located underneath the passenger vehicle. So go to the front, slide it all the way up. Just gonna yank up on this thing and the battery is under there. That make So once you got it on, remove, you see, remove. Um, just touch the two ends together, not touching the battery. And it'll, just for a minute or two, a couple minutes, let it sort of drain the energy. And then go ahead and just tuck them off to the side, make sure they're not you know, touching opposite terminals or whatever. And now we're ready to get going on that tip -em. All right, so here's the old one. First step is we're gonna disconnect the positive over there, right there. That's the one. Take that sucker out. Yeah. Oh, see a clip. All right, so we took the old one out. All right, taking this thing out, you gotta push those clips in. There's some in the front and there's some in the back. And you just wiggle woggle, rip that sucker right out of there. Look at that shithole. Look at that shithole. Now we I gotta take it all apart. Sucked so bad. Now these are really stupid clips. Now you get to take all those up. Look at this clip. Alright, so we gotta... Uh, so we're taking these clips off, pull that red thing down, pull on white thing, and remove. Remember where you put them. Remember them which the ones spot. go where. It's good to take a picture or have a video recording so that way when you break things, you know how to put them back together. So we're just going to go ahead and remove all these. We did the advanced test. All right. So we got the old one removed. Here's a new one going in. We're going to go ahead and uh, snap these all into place here. Say something. Oh, you can show so most times on these new ones, you'll even see on the old ones, they're Gray, somewhat color-coded for the most part. You see there's a little red, a little gray, a little brown, a little blue and green over there, which matches this. Look, blue, and then there's a little bit of blue on the outside of here. This is just a way to double check what you're doing. All right, that's the new one all clipped in. And then you're just gonna drop it in. Nice and easy, wiggle, wiggle, pushy, push. Make sure all of those clips around the outside of it snap into place in the front and in the back. You want me to check these for current? Fuses are looking good. Go ahead and don't lick those. <laughs> don't lick them. Do not, no matter how bad you want to. And then we'll go ahead and reconnect the positive. You see red one on top? Yep. Okay. Okay. So this should be bent forward a little, maybe? Yeah, I think it's what happened. I did the same thing last time. So you can go ahead and then close the lid. Make sure your wire fits under this little piece here. So you're not pinching that anywhere. And ba boom! New tip M in the car. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. So make sure to reconnect your battery. Otherwise things won't work. Again, that's behind the passenger seat. Alright, so we got the battery back attached. Now, usually it's going to come with some sort of instructions. Basically, all we're doing here is we have the key in. Since this is a remote start, we have to, you know, rip things off and put the key back in. If you don't have a remote start normal key, just turn it to on, but don't start it. And just let it sit here for, what was Spend it, two minutes? Dad. Two minutes. Oh, kind of just let things get flowing. That's not right. All right. After two minutes, turn it you can go off. ahead, turn it off. 
pull the key out. Also known as taking your key out of the car. And then you can go ahead and actually start the car. Start Exciting time. moment here. Oh, Alright, so the car does start. What is the smoke thing? Giant flames! Oh my alright, so it's looking good. One car fixed. All right, so after the 120 seconds of waiting and starting it, not everything worked. So we did it again, and now everything works. So give it another try if it doesn't all work um, at the same time. This was our instruction manual. If yours didn't come with one, feel free to pause it and take a look for yourself. I wish you the best of luck. Bye-bye. Don't play cheap.